the first training session I did enjoy it however it was observing and that was 100% observing for me now the second training session now this one yeah it gets more interesting it got more interesting because the main coach asked me to, pre pre to prepare something prepare something so yes I tried to prepare something and I did I am um, I got onto YouTube as well I watched some videos on YouTube about warm-ups for that age group oh and incidentally the age group were the youngest so some like under sixes under sevens under eights they were the like uh, cross between those age groups into two like separate kind of groups as well um, although sometimes they were like combined but there was like a, a, a separation like sometimes there were training sessions where the slightly older children would would be on one football pitch or one side of the football pitch and the younger players on the other. This particular coaching session, this session, um, everyone together and for the warm up, because that's, that's what I had to do, I decided to um, start with a, con a concentration kind of uh, exercise that I, that I saw from the Southampton uh, FC Academy where you go one, two, three, and then the other person goes one, and then you go two, and then it goes three, and you take it in turns. To, you, you just go to three, and then once someone's got to three, then the next one has to be one. So it's, you have to really concentrate, and then you change it up a bit after a short while, not long, a short while, and instead of a number, you put an action. So instead of one, you might, um, for example, jump up, and then you go two, three, jump up, two, three, and then you just change every single number into an action and then they in the end they're um, doing actions instead of saying the numbers the second part of the warm-up I asked them to get a football and did a bit of traffic lights um, which was actually from the Polish um, book uh, from Jakub Spiegowski Zabawy Piłkarskie dla Najmłodszych I think I've said that correctly, that title, from page 78, which is called Summer Hodder, which is cars, which is traffic lights, basically. And so, yeah, uh, I did that with them, and they were happy, you know, they they responded. <laughs> and then I, after that, I, I observed the rest of the, um, the session, and the rest of the session, well, were matches, really. Because, yeah, matches. Kids like matches, and... After after that, uh, the coach decided we're going to be playing some football. So yeah, it was really fantastic, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And that was uh, the second session. Okay, so this is still September 2021, and now I want to tell you about the third session that I was uh, part of, and in a big way, this was arguably the the best lesson that I. Um, that I could take uh, from the whole season, the whole 2021-22 season happened on um, the 20th, that was it, yeah, the 20th of September 2021. I was asked to take the whole session with, with the younger group and I was like, okay, third time here. I had a few ideas as well prepared i asked him if i if i should prepare uh, you know prepare anything in particular does he want something to to happen does he want a certain game certain exercise it was up to me so basically yeah we um did a, f uh, a couple of tag games i did ask the because <laughs> i actually like doing this i asked the players do they want to do something? Do they have an idea? Is there something in particular that they want? You know, not necessarily what I've prepared, but... Okay, do you want to play a particular game? Do you have a favorite game that you like? And yeah, they, they, they chose uh, a couple of um, tag games. Okay, so we did a couple of tag games. We did skills corridor and then matches. Yeah, we, we did matches as well and that was good. Uh, I did notice that there was one boy who was kind of kept to the side. We were actually for this one and the previous session we were in the air dome rather than outside. And I, I remember the uh, there was this one boy who kept to just one side of the the air dome. I 
did ask him a few times, does he want to participate, join the group? But he didn't really want to, he was quite shy. So I just left him. Uh, there's no point really trying to force a, a child to to participate. Uh, you, you won't you won't win. You won't win. It's just it's best to just let the let the child. If 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 there's a situation like that, just let the child be as he is. I knew where he was. I I did keep my eye eye on the situation as well, so that was fine. But the rest of the group, yeah, they were participating, they were happy. The only thing is that that, that session, and this was the lesson, this, this was the major lesson, it was chaos. It was chaos and that was me, that was on me. I didn't do the best job and I was like, after that session I was saying, do you know what Daniel, that should have been better from you. You know, you should have had more control over that group. And yeah, I should have. Been. The lesson came after the session after the session and once my thoughts were like all negative I was standing outside and I happened to overhear one of the children chatting with their I think mum and that conversation was that okay so how was the how was the session and the child says oh it was a great session it was a fantastic session yeah, we had a, it was a great session because it was a really nice coach, he was really good. And then he saw me, pointed to me and said, oh, and that's the coach. That is the coach. <laughs> and that's the lesson. Have you got it? Have you got the lesson? Well, the lesson is that it might seem obvious, but sometimes we forget about this. As grown-ups, we have a certain picture. That picture... In, it does tend to differ from the child's picture and although I know and I still stand by this that that training session should have been different it should have been better from what my point of view from what I did I should have done better it wasn't such a tragedy that I thought that I, I did think it was a tragedy I thought it was terrible but kids see it differently and I'm glad that that child was happy and I'm glad that 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 conversation happened and I well I was fortunate to hear that because if I'd been standing somewhere else or if I'd gone home early you know straight away which I which I never do that's another thing you know as a coach gotta wait to the end make sure that every single child has gone home that's you know that you you, you know everything's taken care of you're checking the, the equipment as well everything but that's maybe a topic for another episode but yeah if I had gone if I wasn't there, I wouldn't know. And instead of being down in the dumps, I was, I was actually uplifted, you know. It was a really nice thing. So, so, yeah, that is arguably the best lesson that I can take from the whole of uh, the, the experience from the 2021-22 season at MKP Vratislavia in Wrocław. And that is it for September 2021, actually. There were... For me personally, there were no more sessions in September. So the next time I talk about this, we're going to be talking about October 2021. And I hope to come back with that video very, very soon. So feel free to subscribe, like, comment and share. Notification bell, yeah, to, to stay up to date with everything The Compass 77. Take care, all the very best. Bye-bye.